In 1907 the Russians and Chinese exchanged some minor territories in Central Asia, fostering great relations between the two states. From 1907 to 1909, the Russian army began doing incursions into Persian territory, which angered the Ottomans, but no one really cared as to what they thought by this point. In 1911, a crisis was narrowly avoided in Morocco, as the Portuguese army was able to put down a serious revolt of natives, thus keeping the territory safe in its hands. In 1913, the Balkan League alongside Greece have went to war with the Ottomans. Quickly, the war of the anti-Hungarian coalition and this war became known as the First and Second Balkan Wars respectively. Being unable to resist the Christian Balkan onslaught, even losing Constantinople, the Ottomans quickly surrendered, resulting in most of their Balkan lands being stripped away. Two years later in 1915, German leadership decided that this year will be the last chance they have to prevent the Russian Empire from overshadowing the German Empire both economically and militarily. On the morning of April 19, news came of strange movements on the German side of the border, with many patrols and border guards going missing and never reporting back. Then came the German declaration of war. This quickly spiraled into a major European war with France declaring war on Germany, the United Kingdom declaring war on France, and Italy declaring war on both Germany and the UK. What the Germans called the Weltkrieg, and the Russians called the Great Patriotic War, and the French called War of Liberation has begun. Everyone understood that such a war was inevitable, and that its outcome will determine the entire history of the 20th century. The war began in mid-April of 1915. After some initial border clashes, 
The Russian army began its operation to occupy the city of Königsberg. After much fighting, the operation turned out to be a stunning success by October. The general mobilization across not just Russia, but the entire European continent was a point of no return, meaning that now, all the warring nations were 100% committed to this war. Very quickly, this became known as the Great War. To continue funding the war effort, the imperial government increased taxation drastically to an unprecedented level. Perhaps unsurprisingly, the people were incredibly unhappy with having to pay a massive tax just to fund the war effort. Quickly, a conspiracy was crafted by populist liberal politicians like Guchkov and Kerensky to overthrow the monarchy, successfully proclaiming the first ever Russian Republic. In February of 1916, the Russian army commenced an offensive operation towards Krakow, ending in another success by the end of the month.
In April of 1916, the Ottoman Empire joined the war on the side of the Central Powers. They quickly regretted their decision. However, they had more success in helping the British in defending the Suez Canal. Upon coming to power, the new Republican government introduced an amnesty for all former leftist revolutionaries and terrorists, even allowing some into government. Without realizing it, the government allowed for a communist coup to fester, commencing in July. Despite promises of ending the war and lowering taxes back to normal, Trotsky went to war with Poland to spread the revolution. What remained of Poland-Lithuania fell by May of 1916. That same month, the Kingdom of Romania went to war with the new Red Russia. In response, Hungary joined the war on side of the Entente. Romania was very quickly occupied, resulting in the Menshevization of Romania. By late 1917, the tribes of Central Asia have risen up in revolt against being conscripted into the new Red Army. Same in Mongolia. Despite all attempts to put down these revolts, trouble continues brewing in the Middle East, with an Azeri revolt. Massive revolts also happened in Finland. Seeing how bad the internal situation is, the Menshevik government signed a separate peace with the Central Powers, leaving the Italians and the French to fight the Germans and the British on their own. By the end of 1918, the both the Entente and the Central Powers were very exhausted. Germany and Italy were in total ruin. However, Germany could no longer continue to fight this war, asking for peace. The Great War was over. Since France and Germany were utterly devastated, no major changes were possible, resulting in minor border changes, like Alsace-Lorraine being handed back to France, or Libya being granted to the Italians, as well as some colonial exchanges, with Egypt granted to the British. Meanwhile, Russia was going along a downward spiral towards civil war. Слезы не прошел, не смокнули, до коней в опоре повернули. Вот показались в опоре широком продотряды, едут с комиссарами, смеются пьяные солдаты и матросы. 
пыль поднялась, шашечки казацкие сверкнули, с висом диким лавой пронесли. Засвистели над головами пули Били, рубили Большевицкие головы сносили За Россию матушку отпустили Там, где вились вороны кружили 